Hello and welcome to AP in Berlin, Germany. My name is Rita and this is the Pulse Check Autocorrelator. We've put years of development into creating a system that's the easiest, most affordable way to measure the smallest light pulses down to just a few femtoseconds. And setting up Pulse Check is easy too. Just four steps and you're ready to work. But before I take you through it, let me take you inside of Pulse Check so you can get a sense of how it works. When the laser beam enters, it strikes a splitter, which splits the beam in two directions. One hits the fixed reflector, the other the scanning reflector, which is in constant movement. These two beams then return to the splitter. From one incoming beam, we now have four. Two are sent to the crosshair and two are reflected to the nonlinear crystal. Depending on the overlap of the two interacting pulses, a new color, such as blue, is generated. Its intensity is measured by the detector behind. It's innovative common sense design, and you'll never have to tinker inside to change settings, which will save you a lot of time. So let's get your pulse check set up. The first step is to remove the transportation screw and replace it with a cover pin, which was shipped with your unit. Now you're ready to insert the crystal module. Rather than ask you to open pulse check to do it, we created an opening. Just remove the cover, take the crystal for your specific range out of the box and insert it into the slot. You'll feel the magnet pull on it. Turn the crystal until the pin snaps into place, then replace the cover. Now let's look at the detector unit. To save you time, we pre-installed the unit you specified in your order but let's double check, which will also show you how to change the unit whenever you want. Before we do, make sure the pulse check is switched off and the laser beam is blocked. This is important for safety, because the beam may reflect out of the top when you remove the detector unit. Next, take off the top lid by turning these two screws. Now, pull the retaining clip back and lift the detector unit out. Then, unplug the connector. To replace the unit, plug in the connector, lower the unit into place, and listen for the click of the retaining clip. Then secure the lid. Simple. Okay, now we're on the last step, aligning the laser beam. This is really important because it will ensure the beam is brought into pulse check the right way. Place the unit on your optical table and fasten it down. Find a place where you can easily point the beam at no more than a 30 degree angle. If your setup has the beam coming from the opposite side, you don't need to rotate pulse check. Just flip the mirror by turning the screw and the beam will be properly directed. Set the aperture to the close position. Then make sure the micrometer screws are set according to the manual. Now you can direct the beam to the input aperture by turning the input mirror screws in the appropriate direction. Once the beam is in the center of the crosshair, check the controller screen to see if you have a signal. If there's no signal or if it's weak, press the tuning buttons to adjust the crystal angle. To optimize the signal, gently turn the mirror screws. The controller screen should now display a measurement curve. If you only see a flat line, turn the gain dial to increase the signal. To see a measurement curve, your controller should also be set to free run mode. Finally, you can reduce the measurement range by pressing these buttons. And that's it. Your pulse check is ready for use. I hope you found this walkthrough helpful. In our next film, I'll show you some of pulse check's more advanced features. You can watch it online at any time. For now, thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again soon.